uh, in conclusion on our agenda today, as a caucus, we agreed to focus our energies in championing of pro-people bills. And in particular, we looked at key parliamentary or legislative proposals that have been before the House or are before the House currently. And we looked at the agriculture sector where we noted that the AFA Act that was passed in 2013 did a great disservice to the agricultural sector in this country because what it did was to amalgamate all the boards of the various parastatals into one big institution called AFA that has therefore meant that there hasn't been real focus and real attention being paid on key issues affecting various farmers in different areas. In particular, we saw the boards, uh, we saw less focus on the tea board, coffee board, uh, dairy board. All those boards need to now be separated so that we can be able to put more energy and more resources. So to this end, we will be pushing for the operationalization of the T Act that was passed last year in December. We will be looking at ensuring that the coffee bill, the proposed coffee bill, sugar bill, crops amendment bill that in particular looks at cashew nuts, coconut, and bixa. And we'll also be looking at Mira, which currently lacks legislation, and there's a problem of market linkages between the Mira farmers and the market within the country and out of the country. We'll also be looking at livestock to ensure that there's proper legislation around livestock and market linkages of the same. And we will be looking at the nuts and oil bill that is being proposed so that we can be able especially to give more, more uh, support to our farmers in coastal area, in particular those that are dealing with coconut, cashew nuts, and also macadamia across the country. So those are some of the things that we'll be looking at going forward. And we have also discussed the whole issue of unemployment. And you know that as members of parliament, we believe that it is time to start thinking about a nation. And uh, we know that many people are challenging uh, what is this whole narrative that we have for the Hasla nation. And they're saying it is time to place the issues that affect the top, the people at the bottom pyramid of our country on the table and make sure we come up with policies and come up with legislation that will help improve this lot of people who are the majority in the country. That is what it means for us to push the narrative of the hustler. And so you're going to be seeing a lot of pro hustler proposals and legislation coming before the house. We'll be looking at how we can create more employment for the people that are the bottom pyramid. We'll be looking at how we can improve the skills of those people and ensure that they can earn a decent living going forward. So that will be the most important agenda for us. And you'll expect that we'll use our numerical strength to make this happen because we have the numbers, as you can see, and we are asking the rest of the members of parliament to support us in this critical agenda. In conclusion, as leaders from diverse backgrounds, we reaffirm our commitment to pursuing the peaceful coexistence of all our people, building on our national unity, revitalizing